all Hank Aaron's. Really, welcome to the episode, guys. Welcome to Storage Legends. I just bought a very serious purchase. Check this out. I don't know why in the world I'm buying this, but man, these are really cool. I got these two statues. They are lion statues. I got them for $200. Impressive, very awesome deal. This is one of those deals that I definitely would love to document. This is a beautiful set of, of, of lions. Um, my friend told me that they were, look at this, I can't even move it. They have to be every bit of 150 pounds each, at least, at least 100, 150. How many pounds? What do you, uh, at least, at least 150 pounds. Okay. So check this out. So what do we have? Um, 200 bucks to absolutely amazing buy. Comment below. I could be wrong. You guys let me know. I'm sure a lot of you guys have these cement statues. These are amazing huge update um i tried to move one of the lions and kind of pulled my back a little bit i don't know why in the world i would even try to even do that at all i stopped it immediately but i did get a little sense of a tweak a little tweak and my lower back is kind of throbbing right now and it, i kind of regret buying the lion statues now to be honest yeah, we got we got the we got the lions out um but we got to show nana now Nana, I bought something. What did you buy? We got bubble wrap from where? I don't know. I got it in my Harley deal. Oh. <laughs> no, that wasn't acting. No. I can't. I, I almost strained my back getting them here. Oh, okay. Are they cool or no? Nana, don't try to move it by any means. I, I broke my absolute back. Okay. All right. All right, they're cool. Should we name them? Um, Ching and Chong, I don't know. Ching and Chong? <laughs> Ching and Chong or Cheech and Chong? I don't know. What'd you pay for? 200 bucks. I feel like they're like worth two thousand each, or is that not? No, they are worth a whole. They're lot. worth way more than yeah. two hundred bucks. And they're not. They're not in bad shape. They're not in bad shape by any means. That's no. why I thought about it. I'm like, typically, this isn't something I would buy. But you know what? This is. But this is. This awesome. is re it's real cement. It's real cement, and they're weathered. You know, like <sighs> they were at a home for a long time. You know why I know? Why? Because it's got the green moss going, and then it's got some roots. Like almost embedded. You see? See how these roots are in here? Oh, yeah. So they like it's actually see? like right in here. the cement. Like, see? Let me see. Let me see. Oh, yeah. It's actually in there. You can't even pull it out. Mm -hmm. Oh. Yeah. So, yeah. So, this was at like a mansion, huh? Yeah. It was at somebody's home. Wow. I like them. Yeah. I think it was a really good buy. What do you think? Okay. I'm cool. You're cool with it? Yeah. All right. I was like... I was yes. The garage door open, and I saw them. Yes. All right. So we did good. Okay. I think I'm gonna name them. All right, Cheech and Chong. It is. You named them, Nana. No, 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 no. no you named them. You no. named them. That's the name. No, don't name them that. No. No. Let's find a name. Um. I'm gonna name him. Mike and Michael. No. Cheech and Chong. You said it. <laughs> Something, this is something to really seriously talk about. Now, with the Harley Davidson stuff, um, this came with it. I'm pretty sure I got I got a box of uh, envelopes in there. No, brown envelopes. I gotta text that guy then because that was part of it. Um, but yeah, no, this this was thrown into the deal, and I think that this is easily two hundred dollars worth of bubble wrap. I think I think that's two hundred dollars worth of bubble wrap. Yeah. Easily, 
Easily. At retail, easily. They're $50 a piece at least. So I'm thinking in my head like, okay, so there's $200 worth of bubble wrap that I'm going to buy anyways. I have to apply that to my buy cost for my deal. That's what made the deal even more, even better. Mm -hmm. All right, guys. So what we're doing today and what our focus is, is the school bus. Now, I know a lot of you guys voted. A lot of you guys had a bunch of different opinions. Um, I figured since we did get the lion, the cement lions today, I have concluded that we are going to use that air compressor to fill up the school bus wheels okay we're filling up the school bus um tires because it needs to have and hold air while it's being towed all the way from sandusky to cleveland ohio guys we have to do it this way because we don't know how to get rid of a vehicle without a title my friend has his own salvage license he actually runs his own scrapyard he's gonna be able to do it it's it's one of those things guys nobody wants the school bus so we are getting it towed with this air compressor I shall create content. All right, guys, one thing I definitely want to shout out is Latrita. I did get the package and we didn't get a chance to open it yesterday on the live. So I do want to open it on this episode really quick. We do know what it is. And I want to show you guys live so I could so I can show you guys what's what it is. Oh my gosh. Look at that guapo. Hope you enjoy the blanket. It's a bit larger than other ones. This one took a series of yarn made with much love. Yes, you can read and show online. Boom, there it is. Tree. Shout out to Tree. Latrita. Check this out. Oh my gosh. She is amazing. Look at this. The last blanket was so good, but it only fit like half my body. So I was like, Latrita, I need you. And look at this. Oh my God, she made a serious blanket. One that seriously would completely cover my body entirely. Latrita Tree, you are super awesome. Thank you so much. You're an amazing subscriber. All right. Okay, we're here at the nursing home right now. We're gonna give grandpa um, the old blanket that Latrita gave me this is gonna be super awesome i'm actually gonna get him something to eat real quick hey what's up man you got your own room man oh man what's up with you okay how, how, how goes it what's up how's everything are you good good how about what you here hold this i got this check this out <laughs> It's a blanket for you. It's a blanket? Somebody made this for you. Oh, that's cool. You like that? Yeah. Nice, that nice, like, gray kind of look. I'm going to switch you out. So while we're here, we got Storage Legends Hoarder House playlist on. Grandpa's been trying to watch. He said he's trying to watch, but we're going to hang up three to four birdhouses outside here. We'll probably do that tomorrow. We could sure use some bird seed for the bird houses. Say what's up, America. Um, all right, say something to the world. This is gonna be on TV. Something. I'm here, Grandma. <laughs> I'm here, Grandma. There it is, Abuela. He's here. Come see him. <laughs> all right, guys. I love you. All right. We love everybody. What? Ooh, look at this, guys. Remember this? This is how the hoarder house started. Oh yeah? Yeah, this is how it started. This is this is when the legend began. This was the first time. This this was the storage unit that I bought that pretty much dictated the past two years of my life. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, look at that man. That's so crazy. Look at all those banana boxes. Second unit. Look at this unit, Grandpa. This is what. This is the storage unit that that started everything with the hoarder house. Wow. This is the unit. If I would have never got this unit, I never had it. All right. So we just got to the hoarder house, and we got to make sure that this 
tire holds air before we're even cleared to tow this school bus. You know what that means, ladies and gentlemen. Trial and error. Anywhere that sells oil. Okay, so it says fill with oil before use. All right, so we need to go get some oil. Man. All right, tire. They gave us oil. Yeah! Yes! Nice, America. All right. All right. Let's see what we got. It's got 125 PSI. Do you think it's going to be enough to fill the bus? It should be. It should be. Okay, we're in good, we're in good shape. All right. Do we need to read the directions? I don't believe so, but who knows? I don't know if I'm doing this right. I found out that this, no, I found out that this was what we were missing. Go ahead and turn it on. All right. After hard work, we got it. Here it goes. I definitely see it filling up. So after like, I mean, that was at least 15 minutes, right? 15 minutes of non-stop pumping it. We didn't really get anywhere. I don't really think it, the tire definitely. It has a lot of air in it. It has a lot of air in it, but I don't think like the dry rod went anywhere. I think it's still super flat, no? Or maybe we should have just left the air on. Well, the dry rod makes it expand, which is why it's flapping out. There's definitely air in there, that's solid. But as soon as we move it, it might blow out. Yeah, it's a big mess. Let's try to fill up the other tires. So we called uh, America's uncle and he definitely said that that air compressor, that Craftsman doesn't have enough like power to fill up the truck, um, which is what I was assuming because the truck tire wasn't getting filled. It wasn't, there wasn't any progress at all. So at that point we got recommended another tow truck company that potentially could fill up the tire all in one go, all in one job. So that's my next option, is Googling this tow truck company to see if they can fill up the tires to finally get the box truck out of the hoarder house. All right guys, day two. No luck on the little compressor. I'm looking at both of the tires and both the tires, I mean, they seem to be in the same condition. That's how little the air compressor is. And I concluded that it definitely I don't know. We're going to have to have have a call with somebody that actually does tires. Those two bees are looking pretty crazy. All right, guys, we're in the garage. In the garage. And um, for the most part, we're trying to secure all these rows. There's one more box right here. And then there's a bunch of boxes on those. On, on those two, like, milk jugs almost. I got all of the boxes in the middle out and loaded. And yeah, let's go through some boxes, guys. Here we go. All right, guys, I'm trying to grab from all sides of the spectrum. Two boxes on the right side, two boxes on the left side. These are the two from the right. Ohio State Buckeyes. Look at this right here. 1984 Tops Chewing Gum Baseball. 
box. So rare, so cool. Let's see what the, oh, it looks like a leather. Looks like a leather box. Whoa. Oh man, what are these? Bermuda. Whoa. There's postcards almost. We got an Allen. We got an Allen belt buckle, a Lee belt buckle. Rich. Um, it says genuine cowhide. Oh man, these are sweet. These are sweet. Okay, let's go. We're gonna grab this flap. So this, I mean, just this flap alone is super valuable. But we'll move this aside and see what's under it. Oh, look at this. Bunch of hangers. Um, bunch of different kinds of glasses. They got like dandelions at the tops. Um, let's see. Whoa. Oh, yes. Look at all of these Crown Royal bags. Believe it or not, people like these Crown Royal bags. They sell at the markets. Might have a Crown Royal bag lot here coming up. These look old. Smoke balls. Fruit erasers. Old school stuff, guys. Old school. Let's see what that says. Land. Lando Lakes? Okay, all right guys, keep moving. We have all of these Crown Royal bags. And then, like I said, yeah, the Lake o, the, the Lando Lakes. Let's see what we got. Oh, bunch of shoe strings. Different old ones too. No, no, we're not gonna do it this time. Let's see, look, more sheets. Shout out to Obi Wan Gary. He likes he likes the Chiefs. Speaking of Chiefs, those are all Chiefs right there. All of those um, plastic bags are filled with just a bunch of different knife Chiefs. Real nice leather. So what else we got under all of this? Move that aside. Wow! Look, another very nice wallet, guys. These go for a lot of money. We have the leather coin purses. He was selling these for four bucks a piece. Check that out, the leather coin purses with the nice original box. That's what's the coolest thing right here is the original box. Squeeze leather coin purse. Oh, nice, bunch of boots, boot keychains. These could be, I think we were light. We concluded they were lighter holders, I believe, possibly. Oh, I don't want to spill the fruit erasers. Okay. Look at all these. Harley Davidson. There we go. There it is. Harley Davidson. All of these are nice change purses as well. This is a really nice box. I really like this box. And okay, next up. Tops cards. We got Archie Manning, Archie Manning, and Wees Wesley Walker. Nice, nice. Move that aside. Let's see what this is. A cooking stove. Wow. That's cool. A nice cooking stove. For the outdoors, guys. These are these are fly at the market. For camping, it's camping season. Okay, these are all nice clips. The clip joint, 12 utility clips. The clip joint, crazy. All right. Let's see what else is down in there. Oh, these are leech racquetball. Half gloves. 
Heck yeah, that's sweet. What you got here? What is this? What is this? Oh, Cleveland Browns. Cleveland Browns. Heck yeah. Okay, guys, found a box in there. Opened it up and instantly seen my worst nightmare. No. No. That's terrible. I wonder if it could be fixed. Wow. That's a tough one to take on the chin, guys. Let's see. No. No. The hand. Oh my gosh. I need a hand, guys. I need a hand. I need a hand. Okay. All right, let's see. Yes! He's alive. He is alive. What's that say? Uh, 81, 82. Yes. Okay, we'll keep him in good shape. Okay. Let's see, let's see. Let's see this guy. Is he alive? No! There's a chip on his shoulder. Wow. This is a sad day right here, guys. No way. Come on, come on. Ah. Even the blue one is chipped up. This is the only one that survived. The only one that survived. Let's see. Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Wait a minute. No! The hand. We got one more. This is it. This is it. And he is, oh yeah, he's weird. He's real tore up. Yeah, dang. Wow, these things could have easily gone for 50 bucks a piece. That's the worst feeling ever. These bad boys are officially in the garbage pile. This one could have been glued together, but guys, I really don't like to sell you guys any chipped items. So, yeah, we're just gonna conclude that this is just a very depressing box. Okay, guys, so that just goes to show you gotta be really careful with your boxes because we all know that that was not stored that way. So, we're gonna blame Cousin Carlos. All right, here we go. Whoa. VHS video rack. There's a ton of them in here. Video rack, video rack. And then a photo frame. Okay, this box is filled with VHS video racks. Okay. The follow-up box. Oh! Guys, here we go. We got a bunch of vintage hats. I found this on the right side. Look at all these vintage New York hats that we just found. Can you believe it? Look at all of that. That's an old style vintage New York hat, guys. These are all dead stock. Dead stock. What is this, the Oilers? Yeah, there goes the Oilers. Let's see what this one is, though, Detroit. More wallets, got a ton more wallets, different designs. Let's see, what is this, a squirrel? Oh man, this is crazy. Oh, look at this, more puppets, more puppets. Oh yeah, let's see what this is right here. 
Uh, additional puppets, nice. There's three in there. A couple moccasins. Oh my gosh, there's more puppets. Look at this. Four puppets. Sheesh. These are good, guys. Puppets are really good. We'll probably auction one off. Let's see. Okay. Okay, we're going to move these aside. Look at that. Dude, so many puppets in here. This was like a puppet box. Wow. Guys, this was like a puppet box. I didn't even believe it. Didn't believe it till I seen it. And you guys seen it the first time with me. Okay, what's this? So, I mean, okay. So, we have one, two, three, four... Five, six different puppets in this box. This is a good box, guys. Look at this trifold dog slash flowers wallet. Not bad, guys. Not bad. What a good box. Hey, guys. A few more boxes here. And we are loaded. The box I just grabbed from came from this row. So I think I'm going to grab another box. From the same row. Oh. Okay. All right. All right, guys. This is super duper exciting. I hope it's a bunch more hats. I don't even know what. See, the thing about it is with vintage hats, you never know. They could be 30 bucks a piece. If we just found 10 of them, that's $300. And we got way more than 10. Here we go. Next box. Please be a bunch of vintage shirts or something cool. One, two. What? A bunch of raincoats. Old school raincoats. Who would have thought? Wow, the whole box is nothing but raincoats. That's not really that bad, though. Let's see what kind of brand they are. They are Edmont Wilson Wet Wet Aware. Nice guys, comment below. What do you think each one of these is worth? Next box. We got a bunch of rain jackets last time. Um, okay. So that box is dumping out a bunch of old school Fleer baseball boxes. So if I come in here and I grab this. Grab this and put this back. At least put these back because... These have to have some value. There's a ton of them in here, but they have to have some value. They're very old. We'll keep them in the best kind of shape we can, I guess. I mean, yeah. Okay, guys, cleaned up. Cleaned up all of the, all of the boxes. It's really muggy and hot in here, guys. I'm kind of out of breath. Cleaned up all of the random boxes. We don't want those to go to waste because those definitely could be worth money. I've seen that under the last box I just grabbed, so I'm super excited. I should probably grab it right now, to be honest. Let's see. Uh. Okay. Whoa. Oh my gosh, guys, look at that. Look at that box under there. Ooh, that's probably, ooh, wow. Okay, here, let me balance on this. I'm bringing this box out as we speak. It's on top of this heavy box. I haven't seen either of them. Moment of truth, guys. Wayne Gretzky rookie card. Here you come. And three, two, one. Come on. Wayne Gretzky rookie. Here it is. Here it is. Oh, it's a bunch of boxes. No, whoa, Cincinnati Bengals and multiple binders of cards, guys. Oh my gosh, it says baseball, it says baseball. 
Here we go. Whoa, and they're all old, guys. What a score. What a score. I got to... Oh, my gosh, guys. Look at all of this. Oh, wow. Wow, guys. Oh, look at that. A Hank Aaron right there. A Tom Seaver. Oh, wow. Look at this, guys. It's probably going to go in the... It's probably going to go... Look, Bob Clemente. Oh, my gosh. Hank Aaron, Hank Aaron. Oh, oh, guys. These are sweet. These are sweet, Bob Gibson. Oh, my gosh. Willie Mace, Willie Mace, Willie Mace. You see him? You see him, guys? You see him? Willie Mace. Whoa. Okay, okay. All right, I'm going to put this one away. We got to put this one aside. We don't want to bend anything. Okay, we're probably just going to leave it open. We're going to leave it open. Oh, man, I want to take... I want to take these out, guys. This is just... Yeah, this got to go out. I'll take all these out. Okay. Give me a second, guys. Give me a second. Okay. We have to go through this thoroughly, guys. These are all old school baseball and football boxes of cards that could potentially be worth like 50 bucks a piece. What the heck is in there? Holy crap. Oh, wow. Unopened tops packs from 1986. No way. These are sweets. Oh, there's so many other cards in here. Hang on a second. I think I, I, think I left one. Yeah, I got the last one. Okay. Wow, this is one of those exciting boxes. I'm super scared. What's it's literally looking at me as a Hank Aaron. Actually, these are in the sun. I gotta put put that over them so that the sun doesn't get to them. Okay, what do we got? Oh, Yankees. A whole Yankees set. Don't want to open it. We have a Cincinnati Bengals picture. Guys, this is nerve-wracking because at any time I could go over a card. That could be life-changing, so I definitely want to be as careful as I possibly can. Okay, we'll move. Let's see here. We'll move this aside. Okay. Oh, look at this. Leroy Mitchell. Wow, these are all 50s cards. These are all 50s cards. Okay. I don't know these guys as much. Ooh, look, Walter Payton, Walter Payton. Okay, two Walter Paytons. Oh, man, look at that. Jim Hart. Burt Jones. Archie Manning. Whoa. Oh, my gosh. Roman Gabriel. Bernie Casey. Wow. Alan Page. Man, there's a ton of good ones in here, guys. Gotta take these out. Put these aside. They're definitely from the era we like. Okay. Take, oh my gosh, there's cards everywhere. Oh, okay. Whoa, look, Ryan Sandberg, rookie. Oh my gosh, Kyle Ripken, rookies on the fronts. No way. Wow. Look at all this, guys. Look at that. There's rookies everywhere. 
Bill White. Ricky Henderson, rookie. Oh my gosh. Oh, freaking look, Tony Gwen. Eddie Murray, rookie. Look at all of these. Those are all looked to. I got to look through those. Wow. Oh, look at Robin Yu, rookie, I believe. Oh my gosh, guys, these are great cards. Dave Parker. These are great cards. Oh man. Look at all of these, man. Let's see what else we have. Julio Franco, Wade Boggs, Wade Boggs. Wow. Another Ricky Henderson rookie. Ooh, I gotta be careful with these. Kyle Ripken, all rookie hot Kyle Ripkins. Sheesh. Don Mattingly, Kyle Ripken. Look at all of that. 79 prospects from the 70s, guys. That was such an incredible, that's such an incredible binder, guys. That was an insane, incredible binder. Easily, easily one of the better binders I found since I started the Hoarder House. Let's see, okay, we have a bunch more different boxes. We'll move those aside. Oh my gosh, I see some comics. I see some comics, guys. Okay, let's not get these lost. Let's see, I'm hoping packs. Those definitely could be worth money. We'll move those aside. I see some comics, guys. Oh, the amazing Spider-Man number 237. Marvel Tales number 143. Oh my gosh, this is a good one. This is a good one right here. X-Men number six. King size annual. Ooh, Transformers number two. And Transformers number three with Spider-Man in it. Wow, those are sweet comics to find. This is such a good box. This is such a good box, guys. Okay. We'll move these. When, when you get good boxes like these, you want to make sure that you look at everything, treat everything very delicate. Oh, man. How crazy is that? We got Super Cycle, Easy Riders. Current card price is February 1986. And then the inside looks like we have like a bunch of biker like magazine pictures almost uh oh don't want to see that yeah a bunch of magazine biker pictures that's cool we got a folder of those that's pretty cool okay we'll grab both of those move those aside oh my gosh guys i'm so excited oh Wow, Bob Campbell, rookie. Look at all of these. Oh, my gosh. Ozzy Smith, Pete Rose. Wow, there's another binder right there. I'm going to put that over there. Let's see. Okay. Okay, more packs of cards. Grab those and secure those over here. And then two more Easy Riders. Another easy rider. And this is the last binder, guys. Here it is. Oh, wow. Kirby Puckett right there in the front. Sandberg in the front. Oh, my gosh. Cecil Cooper. Caesar wins. Seaver wins opener. Hang, uh, Willie Mace. Willie Mace. Andrew Dawson, Nolan Ryan, Tony Gwynn, all Hank Aarons. Wow.
wow, what an amazing box, guys, to say the least. A couple cards over here. We've seen Vince Coleman. A couple more little construction paper. And that was an amazing box, to say the least. All right, all right. I did grab that box, I had to, because I was too excited. I think it's all magazines, though, based on the heaviness of it. Hopefully I'm wrong, though. Oh, and I was right, guys. It's all magazines. Steelers yearbooks and just tons of just older magazines. I have to interrupt. I have to interrupt. Guys, hit the subscribe button. A lot of you guys don't hit the subscribe button. It's right below. Hit the subscribe button. It's free. Let's not separate. Let's stay together on YouTube. Hit the subscribe button. Nice ones, but man, I thought that was going to be cards. Let's look at the box under it. So crazy, guys, because after I cleaned everything up, I opened up this box. Look at this, guys. It's all a bunch of... It's all a bunch of sticky pads and note cards, which I could use these. I could definitely use these, so this is a good find for me. But anyways, guys, let me clean up really quick. What a crazy porterhouse, garage hall. I'll check back in. That was the episode, guys. Thank you so much for being here and watching The Legend of the Hoarder House. If you guys don't know the origin of the Hoarder House, I do suggest hitting that Hoarder House playlist. Uh, thank you for being here again, second time. Uh, make sure that you guys hit the subscribe button so you don't lose track of the legends coming out. We do have two, not one, two laptops that we are going to be giving away. If you're a second level member, you're already entered. You're already ahead of the game. Thank you so much. I'll see you later.